Hi guys, welcome back to episode 56 of Pokemon Trimaster. Last episode, we watched Anne and Blaze, Blade, not Blaze, battle with Zekrom and Reshiram. They came to a standstill. Blade wants the Unova legendary dragon and he's trying his best to stop him he's not joining our forces though which is not good because our forces actually seem quite weak at the minute but then we went into a cutscene with Haruka and she got a pokeball that will not open until the time is right I did a little bit of searching about to see if I could find this entrance to um, Midwood Village and I found it after countless recordings of trying to find it. I just thought, no, I won't record it, I'll find it. And then I'll come back into the recording. But let's go. You have to come through this building. I also put Cinderquill in the daycare. But right. <sighs> Here. Is the entrance Lunt? Who, who's he with? Oh, yeah, he's with the Eevee trainer, and I think that is someone out of the series Ash battled him, but he only had five Pokemon. But he still ended up winning, which was weird. But anyway, let's continue. Shadows, I'm glad you were able to find your way through the trees to get here. However, we're not quite in Midwood Village yet. You see, there's still some ways to go through the forest. Midwood Village is a village hidden deep within the, this forest. Oh my god. The path to the village isn't straightforward. That's why we have two other veterans here to assist us. Hey Shadows, nice to see you again. My evolution should be able should be perfect for this search mission. Evie Man Oh Cameron, that's his name. And this is my Lucario, nice to meet you. I look forward to working with you on this mission. As I mentioned to you before Shadows, we suspect a legendary Pokemon to be somewhere in Midwood Village. We will have to find it before the North Faction get their hands on it. We all know that the North Faction's gonna get it anyway, because that's all they seem to do. We're going to need to split up if we are to find Midwood Village in time. Be careful, shout those. The paths within Midwood Forest twist and turn quite a bit. There is no reason, there is a reason not many people have seen Midwood Village. Not only that, but for those who have, it takes at least a few days to find it. What Pokemon can you get in there, man? Oh yeah, I used the Repel to look for this. <laughs> Every Pokemon counts. And Quick Balls are always good.
I don't want an abra, but I'm going to catch it anyway. I'm hoping the next start of Pokemon that we get in Hoenn is going to be one of the Alolan Pokemon because I really want one. Litten is just too good. Joran. Wow, this forest is going to be so confusing. I'm not going to edit this video, no matter how long it is. Oh, didn't catch it. So we'll just leave that to it. That track. That was one of the starter Pokemon that could make a evolve. Right, if I keep coming across the same Pokemon, obviously I'll put a repel on just to make this episode a bit faster. there's two cut trees there and obviously the cut trees are gonna be the right way oh could this be the entrance
半端。Hit more. See if we can catch you. I really want to let them. This has obviously got to be the right way to go. This is a bit like a. So I ain't even gonna search for Pokey. Yeah. Oh my god, there's four ways. This is going to be a very long episode if I can't find the way. Don't not save turn to Ooh, here we go. You haven't I seen you somewhere before? Right, you're the one from the safari zone way back then in Kanta. I assume you're uh, under the orders of the Tri Regional Pokemon Federation. Hmm. 
I guess you're all freaking out over the war that has been waged, huh? I never really expected separate criminal organizations to join together, but it looks like this mindless culture has convinced quite a few people. If you're here to find the legendary Pokemon, then I have to disappoint you. My grunts have searched everywhere and there's nothing to be found. Hmm, don't believe me? Suit yourself. Go ahead and search around. It's not there. It's way too laggy in this part. I'm searching. What the hell are you doing here? How did you find this place? Of course I know about the wall. Who do you think you're talking to? Team Rocket's here too? Oh, what? Did you lead them here? What are you people doing here in the middle of the night? And just who is there? A friend of yours? Veteran? I'm not a friend, and you people aren't allowed in this place. Not allowed? Um, on what grounds do you make that claim? No one should be allowed in this village anymore. Not after the entire Jota region allowed for its destruction. You're from Midwood Village, aren't you? Yeah. So what does it mean to you? Are you also the one called Valdez, Barrett's little brother? How did you know? My mother, I found her a few years ago. She also lived in Midwood Village. That's impossible. Everyone from Midwood Village died when Team Magma attacked all those years ago. That's why all these graves are here. You don't even know where these graves came from, do you? Let me tell you. Why? Why have you been hiding all this time? Why is this village of all places. I haven't been hiding, at least not in this village. Then where have you been all these years? When your father left to fortified Team Rocket in the Kanto region, I stayed behind in Jota. I'd intend to let Giovanni raise you for a while so that you could know what it would be like to grow up with a father. Unfortunately, during this time, a young trainer named Red defeated your father. This forced him to disband Team Rocket before going into hiding himself. What happened to me? You were young, so you may not remember much, but 
while Team Rocket was disbanded, a mass man came and kidnapped you. This is on about... He's added every game into this. So where is... That's where it started, the mass man. I went searching everywhere for you. My sister, your aunt, Arina, Arana, searched in Canada. While I searched everywhere in Jodo, I even came here to the secret Midwood village. In search of you, when I could find you even here, the only place I could have possibly not. I was told I've ever seen you again. I didn't know if you were alive or not. All this time I've been resenting Giovanni and Team Rocket, but at least they took me in when you when you abandoned me. You have a right to never forgive me, but I am truly sorry. When I came of age to start my own journey, I chose the Jojo region rather than the Kanto region, partly because I wanted to find you, but it seems you didn't want to be found. When I couldn't find you, I stayed in Midwood Village for a few years. I assume during those years you must have completed your journey through Jota, but eventually, as you probably no, Team Magma and Team Aqua began to invade Jota. As the battles between Jota League and Team Aqua and Magma raged, I feared they would find the village sooner or later. And they eventually, they did. Few Team Magma members found their way into Midwood Village. A few trainers in the village fought back, they were led by a brave young man named Varys. He said he had a little brother named Valdis, he had to protect them no matter what. They all fought violently, but Team Magma demanded to reveal the secrets to find some legendary Pokemon. When they couldn't get what they wanted, they started to burn everything in the village. Team Magma left while the villagers tried to put out the flames, but there was too much for them to do. Every single one of them perished in the fires that engulfed the village. It's getting a bit dark, it really is. I dread to see what the next region's going to be like. I was the only one who survived. After Midwood village was attacked. I created these gravestones you see here. <laughs> After seeing so many people fight, killed and burn, I felt guilty. Especially when I was an outsider from the beginning. Yet I survived when all the villagers perished. That's why I built these tombstones that you see around you is to honor the villagers including the brave young trainers who fought so valiantly never thought i'd meet someone i knew about little villagers deeply as you and your mother everyone else in jota acts as if the villagers just some forgotten place, never to be spoken of again. Does that change anything for you? No, it doesn't. I'm going to extract my revenge on Team Magma no matter what. And I will destroy anyone who gets in the way, including Team Rocket. Hmm, <laughs> is that so? I remember when I was a little like you. Did you lose anyone dear to you? You have your mother, you have your father. I lost everything. No matter what I do, no matter what happens, I will empty Magma once and for all. Something no one has apparently been able to do since their 
Inception. Is that so? I don't think it will happen anytime soon. Hmm, it seems all this time talking has attracted someone wanted to hug Team Magma. Still as a hot headed as ever, huh? Your name was Baldis, right? Sorry guys, just gotta get rid of a notification. Who can't we have a Not so fast. We had to talk to someone. Talk? You pe No, no, settle down. You, you're the one who made the announcement to declare war. Yes, I am. I'm glad you remember. But it's you I wish to speak with, Silver. What business do you have with me? And then, Invitation for Team Rocket to join the North faction. And why would Team Rocket do that? Because whoever joins us will have anything they desire. And then, how so? I invite you to our headquarters to, to discuss this more. Sorry, but I'm going to have to pass up on the offer. That's it. Listen, Magnus. I know you're after the legendary Pokemon that Team Rocket already possesses. But well, having Team Rocket join you, you want our legendary Pokemon, don't you? That's only part, partially true. Like I said before, you'll have to, you will have all your desires fulfilled. Sorry, but I don't believe you can provide what you claim. Team Rocket will not join the North faction. How dare you? For, I'd watch your step, Magnus. No, no, Sava, we didn't come here to fight Team Rocket. We came in search of a legendary Pokemon detected here. Well, your tracking system must be broken already, because there's nothing here. Haha, <laughs> that would be the Team Rocket. I brought Team Magma here as well to search for me. Go ahead, Marcus, do as you plan. Someone growled on the. Uh... Grand on, use Earthquake. Stop, what are you doing? These gravestones here. You people would dare to. This great grave, you sicken me. Come on, Shadows, take out some guns. When did I become a part of Team Rocket? Fuck off, Silver. Shadows level 100. Sorry guys, I just need to go for a quick wee. I will be back with you. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Nature calls, you know. Uh, 
Pangora. Oh, good damn it. How many grunts do I have to feed? Are you joking? God damn it. Right, the car. Oh, four Pokemon have a level one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! That's got to be at least six times. Seven. Eight. No. Oh my god. Oh no, that didn't work. Wow. Fuck it. Arrows. My oh, god damn it. Oh my god, this is gonna be an endless battle. I should have flinched. Don't come in, don't come in. Oh my god.
that's alright. I need to revive. Shadow. And Lucario. That's fine. Miss again. You people, you never stop, do you? Ah, what's going on? It must be him, Balder. He's causing all of that. I won't just kill every single one of you. I will twist and torture you all. It is said that there is a certain Ajuri Pokemon that can be summoned in an area that exhausts exhumes of death of death right this Pokemon has only been summoned via the method of in Carlos region it was an ultimate weapon thousands of years ago wiped out an entire amount of people and Pokemon but this place, Midwood Village, has been experienced a great tragedy. I guess it also needs someone with the painful memories of what happened here to trigger the summon. You very tall. There it is, the legendary Pokemon of Death, you very tall. And so this will be the power for me to weld into the darkness. I must go. Hmm. So you have a legendary Pokemon of your own, Valdez. At least you stand somewhat of a fighting chance this time. Too bad I'll just take your Velto after this. Hmm, holding up still, Balder. I've seen enough of this. It's you! You've been hiding in the ranks of my man. Yup, you got that right. Didn't suspect a thing, did ya? Always going about things the sneaky way. Oh my, a Pokemon Master has returned. You're the ma Master from this very region of Johto Gold. That's right, and I'm here to put an end to this war immediately. I don't think that's going to happen, even if you're a Master. We will retreat for now, but understand this Gold. You won't make such a difference in the events to come. Your return to Johto merely delays the inevitable for a bit longer. Come on, let's let us move on, Marcus. Well, what about your Veltal? Don't you want it as well? We can't get your Veltal for now. Not with it matching ground on strength. Not to mention we are in the presence of Western Gold. Fine. But hear that kid, you got lucky this time, but I will never, I will come for your Yvelto sooner or later. Oh 
all these people getting legendary Pokemon, but I ain't getting a Team One. Now this, the battle is over. We call you Valtel now. It's getting on more. I I can't. He's just acquired the powers of a legendary Pokemon. You can't expect him to be able to tame it, Gold. Even so, he has to try. So much for the powers of the death Pokemon. It's like what you just said, so well. Valdis hasn't yet learned to control the power of Yveltar. When he does, it will certainly be a force to be reckoned with. Hmm. Well, that's going to take some time. Who knows, it depends on Valdis' skills as a Pokemon trainer. The important thing is the North faction has failed to obtain Yveltar. But not... That's only... True for now. And you, Silver, I have some things I want to talk to you about. I have a feeling where I know where, I know where this is going. You want to talk about the legendary Pokemon T Rocket's possession, don't you? Even disguised as a Team Rocket when all this time. I Still wasn't able to access such information. You kept things well classified, even within your own organization. Well, you know, no one in this world could really trust anyone, could they? That's different between people, but I understand where you're coming from. You do, do you? Don't act like we're our bodies or something. I believe we're friends after our experience through Jota, and that's why I'm asking you to let go of the legendary Pokemon Team Rocket as captured. For that reason, are you following in the footsteps of your father, Giovanni? Don't speak his name. I will not be like him. Team Rocket will continue to capture as many legendary Pokemon as possible, and I don't care if you get an hour of weight gold. You might be officially recognized as a Pokemon Master, but we both know I'd qualify as well if I wanted to. Be that as it may be, he needs to get rid of that B. Just say, be that as it may, would be a lot better. But there's more power it comes to the role of a Pokemon Master. Hmm. You know, in this world there are alternate paths of power. Well, you've seen quite a lot for today, huh? So you're the new Pokemon veteran Chris has told me about Shadows. Nice to meet you. It's unfortunate you must fight in this war after having just become a Pokemon veteran. But thanks for coming. No, thanks for coming to defend this village. It suffered so much in the past. This massacre that claimed all those lives years ago. I had just been appointed a Pokemon Master years after Red. The second one ever. But still, I couldn't say my reason. Not all of it, at least. But this time, things will be different. I will do all I can to aid the tri regional Federation. Not only that, but there will be other strong trainers from Joseph Kanzo and Harold Talpers. Jumping lads are two veterans. And you say they haven't found the village yet. Don't worry, Shadows. I'll go out and search for it. You just take it easy for a while. I will go and meet it in no time to wait if it's for. Oh, whatever.
Well guys, that was a bit dramatic. I don't get why it freezes there. But guys, I, I think that's it. There's not much more we can do. Other than leave Midwood Village. If I could get out of Midwood Village. I'm not quite sure what I have to do next. Is I know Gold was looking for the lamps and all of them, but obviously There's no telling what could actually happen. I've actually searched this one. Save it just in case I trigger so that I'm not meant to. So here, nothing. If I'm right, I'm meant to be searching with um, But obviously, as they've said, this maze could go on for days.
Unless they're in danger. That's all I can actually think of. Exactly, see a way out of here. Take it, we've just got to leave. That's all I can fucking think about. Trying to figure out how to leave is going to be a pain in the bum. Just keeps swimming in, just keeps. Me. Right, I've been through that way, so it's not that way. Oh shit. Shadows, you made it out of Middle Village. Hold on, Shadows, I'll stop now because we don't have much time. You've already been assigned your next mission. It's good to be in the hurrying region. Don't worry. If it's what you said about my son's return in the months and the others should be fine. As for this file disc, we'll have to hard time taming Niveltarm but at least the North Faction didn't get another legendary Pokemon for their collection as for you go to Olivine City there will be a ship waiting for you to gain entrance to the ship you'll need this The ship will take you to a town, must each center. Let's spend more about your next mission now. RC speed shutters, RC speed. Well guys, that is actually the end of the series. I'm gonna go to Olivine now. See what Oh, I wanna <laughs> I wanna do the book catching hunter. Last one. I'm going to save it here. Actually, I'm going to go into Pokemon Silver Fire. Because I don't want to trigger some at all. I'm going to save it here. Just in case of what happens. This is the end of the Joto campaign. Please wait patiently. Well, the, well.
Let go and let me and yours up um, a great purple chart. Thank you for playing the second part of my game for the Jota region, please. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a fast reader, guys, so read along, pause it. I can read fast in my head, but I can't read fast out loud. I don't know why. Alright guys, I'll let you read all this, and I'll be back. Just about tomorrow morning. Why? Hey, buddy. Just give me a couple of sets and I'll be back. Alright, love ya. Bye. Right guys, as you can see that is the end of the game. Sorry if you heard me on the phone as usual. It's just misses rings me every half hour. You know. Um thank you all for watching so far. We will be back with another part to this game, which I'm really looking forward to. You can go and get the Eevee Stone from the Kanto region in Saffron. It should be there somewhere where you got Eevee from. I'm gonna go and get that now. But obviously you guys are going to explore why the game's still being developed and I you, you've enjoyed this let's play don't forget to leave a like comment and subscribe and thank you all for watching again to everyone that subscribed you thank you 
and I will see you guys. Well, I'm going to start a new series now, so I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for and goodbye.